My name is Michio Kaku, and this is my testimony about the future. The supercar. That's the next big thing. We're talking about a car that gets unwhole, uh, not just 25 miles per gallon, but maybe 125 miles per gallon. A car made out of carbon composites, stronger than steel, lightweight. A car that runs on electricity or hydrogen. A car that drives itself. A car where traffic accidents and traffic jams uh, disappear from the English language. So by 2020, we're talking about uh, chips of enormous power driving the driverless car, and the roads will be intelligent too. When chips cost a penny, the roads will have chips in them, sensing the presence of cars. We'll have hundreds, thousands of millions of them in the road because they're so cheap. So in the future, when you get into your car, your car will say, I sense that there's a traffic jam at a certain place. We're trying to resolve it, but why don't I make a detour around it? And you say, yes, okay, detour around it, and the car drives itself. The car has been a box on wheels for 50 years. For 50 years, it's nothing but a cardboard box made out of steel <laughs> placed on wheels. It gets you from A to B, and that's your car. It hasn't changed much in 50 years, since the 50s, right? Now, because of GPS, computers, carbon composites, fuel-efficient engines, electricity, uh, we're going to see a huge change in the car. And again, it's going to come pretty fast, by 10 years, I think. Uh, I'm all for mass transit, but uh, I think there's a, there's a huge place for the car. It gives you freedom, it gives you all, it liberates you, basically, yeah. you know? And so I think that uh, in the future, it'll be like having a living room on wheels. Um, anything you can do in your living room, you'll be able to do on wheels in the future. The engineers at these automobile companies yeah. are superb. Uh, the, the future car, for example, you see a lot of, you know, ex-engineers and, and people affiliated with the industry creating cars on their own. Highly innovative, very efficient, very strong, using all sorts of imaginative fuels. So these are the engineers. The problem <laughs> is the bureaucracy and the lack of vision of the management. If they go bankrupt, uh, they will go the way of the airlines. That is reorganization, cleaning out the, cleaning out the old management and putting in more imaginative uh, leadership, uh, rewriting pension funds and union contracts if necessary. But I think the automobile industry will go the way of steel and uh, will go the way of the airlines. And that is, uh, if they don't change, uh, the government will simply take them over and, and force them to change. So I get a front row seat. I get to see the people who are inventing the future. I can interview them to give you the most authoritative, the most authentic look at what the next 10, 20, 30 years are going to be like. With tomorrow's technology, we're going to be able to have a combination of batteries such that you can either accelerate or cruise with the same car. In the program, you'll actually see cars, you know, zooming like, like a hot rod with a line of electricity. This is Future Car. It's closer than you think. The car is the next place to be totally revolutionized.